Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and today I thought that I would show you guys a little app that I've been having some fun with on the iPad. Uh, I'm using the iPad 2, but I do believe that this works with the iPad 1 as well. Uh, this is DJ Mixer Pro, and um, this is actually a pretty cool app. I, um, I used this in a DJ set as sort of a backup for my Ableton rig and it was I actually found myself moving to it a lot um, for a couple of major reasons and I thought I'd just kind of show you guys some of the cool things that we can do with it um, so when you open up the app initially you'll get this main menu right here and you can get access to a number of different things obviously uh, some of these features right over here you've got the DJ mixer which is of course what you use for actually mixing you can do some other cool things look at your music library there's a regular music player things like that um, now something that I should mention about this app is that um, there a lot of DJs are going to wonder, well, how do I do a Q-mix? And you're going to notice that there's this option here, DJ with headphones. This is an extra option which you can unlock. And uh, the thing is that it requires two iDevices. It requires a another iPad or an iPhone or a... Uh, or an iPod Touch in order to be able to do it. But the cool thing about this is that you can sync these two devices together and use the secondary device as your headphone monitor for your headphone mix. So I haven't been really using that um, because really I have used this just for being able to kind of drop tracks one by one. Um, but that's a cool way that you can get access to mixing with headphones uh, because obviously that can be a little hard to do on the iPad. Uh, because the iPad doesn't really give you the ability to use an external audio interface. So anyway, uh, that's just something that I should mention because I know a lot of DJs are going to wonder about that. Let's go into the DJ Mixer. We're just going to click on DJ Mixer right here and now we are in the primary DJ Mixer again. Um, now something that is pretty cool about this I think is that you get access to your tracks pretty quickly. Uh, another thing I should also mention speaking of tracks is that you do actually have to purchase the ability to be able to import all of your own tracks on your iPad into the app. Um, but that was $9.99 I believe at the time when I purchased this and so it allowed me to be able to bring in any of the songs that I have on my iPad iPad. So it's easy to import a song. I've got one loaded in deck A here. Let's load one into deck B. I'm just going to click on this music add button right here. And this gives me a list of all the songs that are available on my system. And I can organize them by artist, playlist, things like that. And so this gives me quick access to everything that I have on my system. So I can, uh, in this case, let's just go ahead and load up one of these guys here. And then when you first load up a file that you haven't yet loaded, the DJ Mixer Pro app will do a little bit of uh, analyzing of the file, figure out the BPM and things like that. So you can click on the BPM button right here. This will give you what it thinks is the analyzed true BPM of the song that you have brought in. Uh, now you can sync this to your secondary deck, whichever deck is not currently running, or even if it is running, you can sync this and it'll make it play in sync. Uh, and then you can also undo that and things like that. So you get access to some real easy BPM controls. You can add little bits by negatives and pluses, things like that. And of course, just reset to the original BPM. You get two waveform views. On the top, you have a waveform view, which you can click on in order to move around. And then you have your waveform view right here in the middle of your console. And then you get two decks, of course. And you can switch these decks between analog and digital. So here's analog, old, old school record style. And you can go back to digital, which is kind of like CDJs that a lot of DJs are going to be used to. Uh, you have a crossfader, of course. And let's go ahead and bring this track in a little bit. So 
So you can see I can kind of scratch the track a little bit, which is cool. I mean, you know, you're not going to be a turntable scratch uh, artist really when you're using this. Let's face that, you need to get some vinyl in order to really pull that off. But, you know, this does let you actually scratch the track and what this also lets you do is pay attention to your transient waveform right here. So you can look for instance for where there is a passing transient and start off your track right around there. So that's pretty cool. You can set a cue, which is easy to do. You just simply need to choose where you would like your cue to be and then click on set cue. And that means that your song will start playing back from the cue position, which you have set. Um, and of course, you can use this for mixing. Uh, I'm not going to get too in depth here because I will probably spend a little too much time trying to mix, but uh, we'll just grab another track right here and see how we can play these two together. So I'm going to go ahead and just import a track. I've previously analyzed this track, so it's all loaded up for me real quick. And now I can just choose, of course, using my crossfader, I can decide where I would like to start playing. And then I can start playing back. And of course we get access to volume controls for both of the tracks and we have a master volume track control right here. And then we can start playing back our other track. So as I say, I'm not really beat matching right there. I just want to show you guys how we can make use of this. Um, but I think that this is actually pretty cool uh, because of the fact that you have access here to most of the type of controls that we're used to having in a lot of digital DJing uh, applications on laptops. Well, we've got it all right here on the iPad. We also have tempo control, of course. And the cool thing about this is this: we change our tempo, we can see our waveform actually changing size in order to match up with our tempo setting. Um, so that lets you get a little more in depth with your beat matching right there and if you are using a secondary eye device you will be able to actually use a headphone cue in order to listen to what it is that um, that you are attempting to mix into another track. You can also record your performance which is very cool I think uh, by just clicking on the record button down here and then anything that you do will be recorded. And then when you're done, you can hit the record button again. It'll ask if we want to stop recording the mix. Say yes. And then it will tell us that it saved that as an audio file that we can copy using iTunes file sharing uh, from our iPad and tells us the name of that, saves it to a WAV file. So you can actually save your performance, which I think is another very cool thing. So if you find that you're just really spot on one night and you've recorded that performance, boom, you're ready to go. Um, and that's pretty much it. You also have, as one final note, you have the ability to do some quick swaps in between tracks right here just by clicking on these buttons. So that lets you just go back and forth between tracks real easily. There's also an auto mixing uh, option here which you can make use of in the settings. So if you turn auto mix on, when one track gets to the end, the next track will start playing and you've got, you can do some settings as to auto mix duration and things like that. You can also change your scratch recovery time so you can go ahead and scroll through right here and change how long it takes for your turntable to kind of catch back up after you've done some scratching on the virtual turntable. So there's a lot of cool options that you get right there and uh, there's also some different samples which come with the app and uh, you can just make use of these as well which is actually kind of cool. So there's a lot of different uh, 
a lot of different options that you get your hands on right here when you uh, when you start making use of this app. So I think it's pretty fun. You know, again, it's not something that is going to be maybe for the well-seasoned DJ who really needs absolute control over what it is that they're doing. But uh, you know, again, I found that making use of this in uh, tandem with my Ableton set was really helpful because what I also found is that. Uh, in my case, you know, I was DJing just sort of a, a basic party for some folks and they had requests and I did not have everything that they wanted in all honesty. And so what I was able to do was uh, as I was playing back either in this app or on my, on my MacBook, I was able to go into iTunes on my iPad, purchase the track that they were looking for, drop it into my DJ Mixer Pro app, and then I could very quickly just play back the track. So I had quick and easy access because I had Wi-Fi set up and I was able to just download those tracks immediately. So really anything anyone requested I could drop if I wanted to. You might not like dropping requests and I understand that if that's the case. But um, you know, I just thought I would show this off to you guys and uh, this app is on the Apple App Store. You can uh, download it and check it out. It comes with a few songs which you can attempt uh, playing around with, mixing, things like that. Again, if you want to get access to some of the extra options, uh, you'll need to pay a little bit extra. This is something that's becoming very popular in uh, Apple apps right now is in-app purchases which basically give you the ability to buy add-ons for your application through the app, through the App Store to add on things such as being able to mix your own songs, being able to use headphones through secondary eye devices, things like that. But uh, there you go. I hope that this is uh, interesting and cool for you guys to check out. If you have any questions, please get in touch with me at brian at obedia.com. Find me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor. And of course, on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash obediatutor. I hope you guys are doing well. Keep mixing, keep making music, and I will see you next time.